Hello Internet, I am the Nexus Avenger, and I've got a demo of a new tool that I've been working on for only a few hours now, it's a relatively small tool, which is intended to be a tester for VR compatibility of games. A lot of games that use Nexus VR character model currently have a lot of common issues. If I recall correctly, at least nine of them actually have a common crashing problem that it has to do with a certain way that you can set up Surface GUIs. And I have to explain this to a lot of people and explain the workarounds and how to also find the problem. But now I actually now have a tool that I can give out to do it, which I call Nexus VR Compatibility Tool. It's not a super elegant name, but it is descriptive. There are two ways to open it. Currently, it's not visible or anything. It's not even clear that I even have it. There's two ways to do it depending on how your game is set up. If you do not have Commander or an equivalent admin system like Nexus Admin, you can go to the chat and type in VR check, and that'll open it. Or if you do have Commander, you can do VR check from here, and this thing on the side will appear. This is the compatibility tool. It does have space for more tests, or if your screen were to be shorter, it would have a it would allow you to scroll here to get to more tests. You unfortunately do need to hide the leaderboard to get to, which you can do on desktop by pressing tab. And this will go over a combination of automatic and manual tests to look for when developing a game to see its VR compatibility. There are many levels that each of the tests can have. For example, the VR crashing problem is something that I've mentioned before, which this will show up as a red if this is a crashing problem, orange if it strongly affects playability, um, a blue eye, which I'll show in a bit, which is it doesn't do that much to playability, but it's still something that should be resolved. And these grays with the dashes are manual tests, which I do not have a good way of covering without code inspection, which I am not going to try to figure out for this type of project. If there is an, any type of issue that you're looking to get more information about, if you press the question mark, it'll give you some information about what the problem is and also how you can solve it. Some have one way of solving it, some have a few different ways, and some of them will also show some extra information. For example, Surface GUI crashing, for example, will actually highlight any of the relevant Surface GUI parts that will crash if a player looks at, for example. And most of these have some sort of version of that, but not all of them do. Scrolling frames, for example, will also have the same type of effect. This one happens to be have the problem with both of them, so that will result in that. And also things like um, unwrapped click detectors, which is a click detector that is not using Nexus VR Core, which I cover a bit more on GitHub, as well as I briefly mentioned it here, will show up as well, as well as Surface GUIs that have buttons that don't use Nexus VR Core, because both of these can be a bit difficult to use in VR. And some other things that don't have this also include demos of what you can actually, or what they actually are and why you should resolve them and maybe how. For example, loading screens will sometimes cover the entire screen in a single cover or in a single image, but it doesn't work as expected in VR because of how the screen GUI is shown and it actually just ends up being a random square in space. And I would recommend resolving this by either using a color correction or a blur effect and keeping whatever logo or whatever you have in front. And there are some other things that you might not think about, like the difference of using camera.c frame for versus camera.get render c frame. If in the case you are trying to read the position from the camera. And some other things to pay attention to. They all have some sort of relevant information to go over. And some will actually point out specific problems. I should point out with this, this is not a replacement for testing in VR. Seeing these being green is a good way to make sure that you don't have any common problems before testing in VR, but you still should be testing in VR because you will miss stuff, and testing these things manually is something that you'll still have to do in VR for the most part. And I uh, should not have closed that. And just as some examples, some other things, for example, the whole screen covers thing. This is an example of an info-based thing, which is kind of more of a just cosmetic thing that's a bit weird. It doesn't really affect much and typically only affects loading screens. And also, for example, changing cameras, which is camera animations, also shows this trip triggering. These will these will change depending on what goes on in the game. For example, if you were to remove the issues for screen GUI crashing, that will revert these. So these do update with the game. So this could potentially be a very useful tool for diagnosing problems and making the VR experience better. I'm 
hopeful games with Nexus Sphere character models start using this tool. No one might use it, I'm not sure. But that is all I have for the demo. The link to the GitHub repository is down in the description, and once the post on developer form is up, I will also post it there. And uh, re request for other changes or other tests by, via GitHub issues, pull requests, or request to develop form are open. That is all I got. Take care, guys.